today, um, kind of like the kind of person I always try to, you know, entertain you some type of way. Well, not basically entertain you, but kind of let you inform and stuff like that, you know. I always say I'm your big sis, because your big sis is always in some type of mess, but I want to come to you on a much more serious subject, um, today. Um, you know how you live in your truth, and I'm going to tell you about the things that went through my head, within myself. Some stuff I share with you be true, some stuff I share with you be but you ever have that day where you feel through your transition that the men are definitely different than what you used to have in your gay boy days you had a well for the girls like me the ones who never had it okay we get it this video is not for you it's for the girls like me who used to be a gay boy before we transition to so this woman we are and the thing is we always had that boyfriend, so we have to separate that from the men now. And now we meet men and stuff like that that goes, you know, I'll be with a girl like you, basically a man. That's what they're kind of saying in a nice roundabout way. And you give a man a chance and different men, same results. So, of course, you give the man a chance, he played you out and stuff like that. Okay, fine, you're moving forward and stuff like that. And you hurt and you take it with you and you go outside you're sad, you're depressed and you walk down the street and they say that's a dude and you stop and you go like why are they always fucking with me so you just keep walking that's a nigga you, you, like, you keep walking nigga. that's a nigga you stop and you go, wow, I've done this to my body so I can be accepted as a woman as far as what I needed for myself, not for anyone else, but for myself. And he's still clocking me, I'm popping all these homos thinking I'm going to wake up the next day and feel so I'm passable, but I'm not. I am a woman, honey, but it seems like I only want to to believe it. So, that day, that day you go outside and you know, you've heard it play over and over and over. That's a man. That's a nigga. That's a dude. That's one of them Kate Legina bitches. And you go. Then if one of them walk up to you. Are you a man? And then you go. You know what? Today's your lucky day. I'm going to answer you. I'm, I'm going to let him meet you. What you say, baby? Say it again. I'm going to let him meet you. Since you want to see what's going on in my life, let me just let you meet him. Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry.
drama of dealing with guys and their shit. You know, there comes a time where you just have to live and let live. But unfortunately, sometimes people just don't want to do that. And they constantly remind you of what you are. And it's not like we don't know. It never left us. But when you're standing in front of us, I always when they're saying, you're a man, I want you to just let it build up inside of you. So to remind you, say, oh yeah, you're right. And I want you to reach back. <laughs> Let me stop. I don't want you to do violence and stuff like that. I just wanted to put that video out there and stuff like that because simple back in the mess of like, you're a man, you're a man. So if we, we want to constantly remind us of something, maybe you need to be thinking because you're not thinking that just maybe you have an ass will be waiting for you right in front of your face and don't even know it. So the next time you decide you want to fuck with somebody that you don't understand, that you just feel as though, you need to do that. Be prepared, because you never know. There's some girls out here that say something to you, say something to them, and they'll just read you down, up and down, up and down, and then they'll walk away. There's the other trans girls out there that when you run your mouth, just make sure you're asking cash it. Just like the guy said in the video, you must have a weapon on you. Why are you worried about a weapon? You came to a war. You came to fight. So if you came to fight, don't worry about what I got. Just worry about what you're going to get. Anyway, that being said, and I don't condone, I don't condone violence, but at the end of the day, like I always tell you, girl, the only person that's going to save you will be you. You know, and that's how I feel. A lot of times the stories don't go the greatest way. We need them to go. But don't let your story be a horrific story. Let your story be a victory. That's how I feel. That's just my opinion. That's the way I feel. And I'm not here trying to start no fights with nothing like that. But when the unexpected decides that wants to walk up to me, I will not say, Oh, I wish I brought my shit with me. I'll be ready. And I'm not saying I'm looking for a war. <laughs> anyway, that being said, I just wanted to put that out there and stuff like that. The girls are really getting tired of y'all picking on us. It's going to have to stop. After a while, it will. Anyway, I want to say hello, dolls. Meow. I want to say hello, kings. Woo! And I want to say hello to people. Boom. I want to say oh people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do. I want you to do the best with it. You can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. All right.